Hello everyone, Scott Somerville coming to you live from Napa, California. It is August 9, 2015, 8, 16 in the morning. And this morning I figured, you know, we'd start talking about some objections. Now, I gotta ask you something. In your sales process, do you get common objections? Yes, you do. I can tell you that without even having to think about that question. Now, one of the things that you're gonna find is as you're going through and you're dealing with buyers, they're looking for a way out. And you know, some sales uh, trainers are gonna put this like as a hallway and a bunch of doors. But this is a little bit different. It's going to be something uh, that you're going to notice that happens. And as you're watching a, a buyer from my position, which is co-pilot, buyers tend to cluster objections, okay? They're like a rat in a maze. They're like a rat in a maze. And so what happens is, let's, let's say that the salesperson is sitting there and they sell the product, they do an awesome presentation, they get all the way to the end and the buyer goes, all right, well, your price is too high. Now, you got to know that if the price is too high, the next objection, if the salesperson overcomes it, is there's always a mysterious person that they got to talk to, okay? So just know that these, these objections that you have are usually clustered, and there's usually like three of them that float around with each other. Now, I'm not going to give you like all the secret sauce on this, but I want you to start paying attention, and you know what's going to happen is you're going to be sitting in a sales process, and you're going to hear the buyer go, you know, I want to think about it, and then you're going to deal with the objection, and then the next common objection comes up. They usually happen in a pattern, and I want you to do some work, and I want you to think about this but I want you to smile in your head and you're like just aha I have this a moment Scott told me this was gonna happen I watched this YouTube video that there's usually a cluster so the buyer says I want to think about it and then there's usually the next one and then there's usually one more they usually typically happen in threes sometimes you're gonna have somebody who does them in four or five that that's cool that's not a problem okay so just know as you're going through a process selling anything that those those objections they happen in a cluster and it's normal but once you figure that out, it's like a combination lock. You know, you look at a, like a lock, it's like left, right, left. And you start getting that dialed in. You're like, aha, I got that combination. Aha, I got that combination, got that one. And you unlock the sale, okay? So just be patient with people. And know that sometimes people got that reluctance. They're, they're nervous about the, the, the buy. They don't want to be judged by others. That happens a lot too. But just know that these clusters are normal. Almost every industry has them. But you're going to have to figure, I know what they are but I want you to do some work. I can't just give you all the answers. You know, if you want, you can contact me. You can pay me pay me that's like the the international sign for pay me you know money pay me and I'll help you out and I'll give you all the answers I can't give you everything on YouTube that's just crazy you know you gotta sometimes you gotta come to me and I'll, I'll give you what the answers are but typically those objections happen in clusters so you have a want to think about it and then right after I think about it is another one and then right after that other one is this one so unlock I want to think about it the second one and the third one when they happen in clusters and you're gonna be like I get it now I totally see what's happening but a lot of times salespeople are like just they're just getting frustrated. They're just getting frustrated. Look for the pattern in the sales process. Look for what's common, look for what's normal. And they're like, oh, okay, I get it. Now I see where I'm having that problem. Look for the clusters and the objections. It happens with every industry that I've worked for with people. And then when I explain it to salespeople, they're like, that just makes so much sense. Just know it's like a chain reaction. I want to think about it equals this next one. When you overcome, I want to think about it. And then once you overcome this one, it equals another one. Or like when people say, I got to get three bids. This starts right here with I got to three, get three bids, you overcome it, and then the other person's going to have one behind it, and then typically one more behind that. And just get really good and just talking with people and being patient and pointing out why they should do stuff. Now, a lot of times if you have a really good sales presentation, there's not a lot of objections in the process. There can be, right? There can be, but just be patient with people. I look at it, when people have an objection, I, I just start laughing in my head going, all right, <clears throat> It's time to play the game. I put on the you know the detective hat and ask a bunch of questions and then make things happen. Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story. That'd be fantastic. To the right or to the left, there's a subscribe button. Subscribe and then send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, LinkedIn, Scott Sullivan Bell. Only Scott Bell with Seminole. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Aloha.